everybody hope you guys are doing good today and time for today's uh youtube not really tip but sort of youtube segment and i'm going to show you guys my tow rig today and i, th I thought this might be an interesting video because a lot of guys out there you know you guys got tow rigs too so you sort of know what i'm talking about and you can sort of relate to it a little bit but mine's a little bit different um i've got almost four hundred thousand miles on my uh truck here um and it's uh still going strong still running still driving all over the country and um, i'm going to give you a little bit of a tour with it so let's check it out okay here's the ride it's my 2012 dodge ram 1500 5.7 hemi sort of give you guys a little sampling here on it this right here this is uh, it's a 2012 model truck. Um, like I said, it's got almost 400,000 miles on it. This is the fifth set of tires I've had put on this thing. So you can imagine how many miles driven on it to have five sets of tires. And um, so you guys a little bit, but this is how it's set up here. I got two rod tubes on it. These are really handy. Uh, I can put like uh, uh, probably 15 rods in each tube there um, on both sides there. Keeps them nice and secure. Uh, I got my spare tire on the top because I don't got any room in the back for it. Um, here's the back of the truck here. This is where I keep all my tackle back in there. I can I can store enough stuff in there to, for a month long trip, so it works pretty good. But a little bit of character about the truck, that little ding there. I was cutting wood last month down at my dad's house and I had the tailgate down and I backed into a tree there. So with 400,000 miles on the truck. I sort of chose not to spend a thousand dollars on a uh, new bed for the thing. Um, pretty much same, same over there. And sort of show you guys inside the truck a little bit here. Um, lots going on in this truck here. As you can see, worn seats pretty much. Um, 300, let's see, we've got 300 and uh, what is that? 378,000 miles on the truck, almost 400,000. Um, steering wheel's all beat up. You can see right here, this is back when Elijah was like two years old. He liked to get on the steering wheel and he'd bit chunks out of the steering wheel. My radio there, um, my radio has not worked for over five years. And so I don't listen to music when I'm fishing, uh, you know, which is fine with me. I just, gives me a chance to do a lot of mental work inside my mind. But a lot of people can't believe I haven't had a radio in five years and I drive across the country, but anymore, it's no big deal to me. Of course, the essentials, water and a uh, hand spray, hand sanitizer. Now the back here, uh, some mods and ends, got Elijah's car seat back there, gets a lot of traffic there. And uh, that's pretty much the interior. Now, you know, a lot of people, they ask us like, you know, why are you driving this thing? It's got almost 400,000 miles on it. And you know, for so many years, I was really spoiled because I was uh, sponsored by Lucky Strike for close to 20 years. And for much of that time, part of the deal I had with Lucky Strike is that um, I got a, a new vehicle every year to drive. It's so basically, uh, the, they had a fleet deal and myself and G Guido Hibden, Dion Hibden, uh, we all had brand new Suburbans every year. We drive them for like 30,000 miles and then Lucky Strike would uh, change them in every year on their fleet pant plan. So we got to drive brand new Suburbans uh, for, you know, a long time for just, you know, 10 or 15 years. So I got really spoiled by that. So when I finally had to, that deal went away and I had to get my own truck, um, you know, I just knew that, you know, the, the a vehicle is the worst investment you can possibly make. And I just never did really see the sense in driving something, you know, for, 30, 40, 50,000 miles and taking a big hit on it, buying something new and then trading it off, off and doing it again. So this particular thing, I've just been dr driving it, you know, till, you know, it, the wheels fall off it. And at this point, you know, with almost 400,000 miles on it, it doesn't make, as long as it's running good, it's running perfect. So why, why do I need to, to, you know, spend money on a brand new truck? That's like a terrible investment when I've got a vehicle that's running really good, even though it's got a, a lot of miles on it. So anyway, I think a lot of people can probably relate to that. One of the things that I've never understood is how many guys out there that can actually afford to buy a $70,000 truck every other year, plus the home mortgage and that type of stuff. So that, that's always puzzled me a little bit. It seems like, uh, you know, trucks are any more, they're about expensive as a house. So anyway, that's my rig there. Um, like I said, I'm, it's a 2012 model. I've had it for a long time. 
you know, I've driven this thing back and forth across the country dozens of times. I mean, I've been to Lake Mead in this thing five times. I've been to, to New York and back Florida back for uh, over a half a dozen times. It's literally driven across one, from one end of the country to the other. And it's been a great vehicle. I mean, I've got, this is, I have no endorsement deal with Dodge Ram. Man, this thing has been, this thing's been really good. I've had a lot of good success with it. So um, anyway, that's my rig there. I thought you guys might find that interesting. And hey, shoot me some comments here. Let me know, you know, does anybody else out there got a rig that's got this many miles on it? Do you still drive it? And, uh, you know, just let me know what your thoughts are on it. But for my plan for this thing is I'm just gonna, I'm gonna drive it till it falls apart. I mean, maybe I'll get 500,000 miles on the thing. I don't know. Um, and at that point, we'll talk about getting another one. So anyway, hope you guys are doing good. Just a quick little off the wall video here and we'll talk to y'all later. See you.